Open up now. Yeah, I'm trying to do a review. Open up now. Um, I'm, I'm doing a review right now. I, I can't. Open up now. Hold on. Hey, what's up everybody? Nick here from the Lost River Drive-In to give you one of my most anticipated movies of the year. Honestly, last year, I think I said this was my most anticipated movie of the year. I don't know if it still was, but it was It was in the top three. We're going to review Evil Dead Rise. I'm going to tell you really quick. This is going to be a shorter review because it's going to be spoiler free. You know how I am. Obviously, I like to go see these movies the night they release. I don't want to ruin it for anybody, so I'm not going to get into specifics. I will give you my vague thoughts on things, what I liked, what I didn't like, my overall rating on the movie, and tell you whether or not to go see it. I've also decided that we're going to have a new tier list. Everybody has their tier list for when they give a final rating on the movie, whether it's this or that. Since this is the Lost River Drive-In, we've got front row, middle of the pack, the nosebleeds, and get the fuck out of here. To go in theme with, you know, seating arrangements, parking arrangements at a drive-in movie theater. So, from here on out, I'll be giving that when, after I give my star rating on a movie and tell you where it belongs in the Lost River Drive-In's hierarchy, right? I know. I am God. No, just kidding. Anyway, Evil Dead Rise is written and directed by Lee Cronin. This movie is produced by Sam Raimi, by Rob Taper, by Bruce Campbell. So, you got all the players back involved, right? It was supposed to be an exclusively HBO Max... It was supposed to be an HBO Max exclusive release, but it kept scoring so well at test screenings, Warner Brothers said, screw it, let's give it a theatrical release, and they were right to do so. Let me just tell you guys, this is the first time in a while where my theater has been audibly reacting to what was going on on screen. I'm not even kidding, like it was happening. This is not one of those stories where it's like, oh bro, no, it was really happening, which is really, really cool to see. I first and foremost just gotta say, Lee Cronin, you belong in this franchise. If you do a sequel to this movie, I'm on board. Whatever you do moving forward, I am on board. This movie opens up with a brilliant callback to the Evil Dead movies, and then it kind of flips it on its head, and it's like an, it's a joke. It's an in-joke, but it's awesome. And from that point forward, I knew this guy gets it. This guy's going to give us what we as Evil Dead fans want. He's going to hit all the right notes, and he did. This is a gorgeously directed movie. There's so many there are sequences that are shot through the peephole alone, of a door that is just awesome. There's there, there's upside down shots. The camera work is phenomenal. I, I just have to give him credit. The set design as well. The whole production team knocked this out of the freaking park. For a movie that is so limited in where it takes place, it is just, it's awesome. It, it, it feels claustrophobic, but every set piece is so intricately detailed. I just, I dug the shit out of the direction of this movie, out of the production quality of this movie. All bangers. The acting is incredible, okay? Everybody goes into these types of movies when, and Christian and I talked about this on the podcast, when you see kids involved. And you have a couple worries. Is the acting not going to be that great because there's kids? And then two, you have to think, well, it's kids. They're going to be safe, right? <laughs> Let's just say, um, without giving any details away, the acting is good with the kids. Very, very good. I, I was astonished. I thought I was like, I'm not going to care about these kids. I thought I was going to care about Beth and her sister and nobody else. And I was wrong. So I'm very, very happy to say the performances all around are awesome in this movie. The little girl that plays Cassie is just, she's something else. Okay. She's, she's going to go places. I'm telling you right now. I hope I got her name right. I don't know. I walked right in the freaking door and started recording this. So anyway, performances, awesome. The gore. Oh, buddy, does this movie deliver on the gore. This is... I was also worried, too, because I thought with just a few people in the trailers and it being in this high-rise that, you know, that you weren't going to have a body count. No, there's a body count, and they make these kills count. Let me just tell you that right now. There's a lot of kills. There's only one kill that happens mildly off-screen. Everything else you see pretty well, and they're gnarly. And even when something doesn't result in a death, there is a lot of mutilation. And I, I dug the shit out of that. So the gore, come on. It, it's Evil Dead. If the gore wasn't on point, it wouldn't be an Evil Dead movie. The gore is on point. Also, again, nobody is safe. Nobody is safe in this movie. And that shocked me. 
shocked me because I thought for sure certain people were safe. No, nobody's safe. And I'm not just saying that. This isn't like Scream 6, where it's like, oh, no one's safe. Everyone's a suspect. And then you're like, you son of a bitch. No, nobody's safe. So just warning you before you go in. Don't get attached to too attached to anybody. This movie really expands a little bit more on the lore and what we've already seen established in the Evil Dead movies. Obviously, we know canonically, based off of Army of Darkness, there are three books. This is one of the three books. It's got a different design on the interior and exterior, but my God, is it beautiful. And the whole like cantation through the record, ah, oh, loved it. Loved everything about that. That's in trailers, guys. That's not a spoiler. It's just awesome. There's callbacks to the tree scene from the original and from the reboot. There's callbacks to Evil Dead 2 in a line of dialogue that was just like, oh, yes, I didn't expect it to happen in this movie and it happened and it felt so perfect and this third act is very similar to evil dead 2013 in the sense of it is batshit it is big bombastic and just bloody and i was sitting here thinking as this movie's about to wrap up right before you know we get our, our hero moment like we do in all these movies how are how are they going to be on par with the last evil dead movie because evil dead 2013 i love the shot of mia putting the chainsaw through the abomination's mouth that is like a masterpiece. Frame that, hang it in the Louvre. They delivered. They del I would not take it over Evil Dead 2013's, but the line of dialogue we get and what happens next is awesome. It's awesome. They just really expanded upon the lore here and, and just, it feels like there is so much here. And there, there always has been. There is so much ripe for the picking with this series. And call me crazy, but it seems like we're going to get it. So, guys, overall, I have to say, on the rating scale, this is a front row. You want to buy this movie, you want to go see it as... Buy this movie, yes, when it comes out. But you want to buy a ticket to go see this movie, you want to see it this weekend. You want to see it as soon as possible. If you are an Evil Dead fan, whether it's the original trilogy or the reboot, it has a perfect blend of a lot of what those movies do well. It's more similar to 2013, I would say, but the there are dark comedic moments. There's a ton of callbacks. The Deadite action and mannerisms and look and design, on point. On point. I could go on and on about this movie. Also, I just want to say really quick, I am not a shill for modern horror. Okay, guys? I didn't care much for Smile. I still haven't seen Megan. I just wanted to call this out because after giving positive reviews to Halloween Ends and Scream 6, you know, people are like, oh, well, you just like all these new... No, it's not my fault these big horror franchises are coming back better than ever with good filmmakers and good writers. Sorry, do you want it to suck? It seems like you want it to suck if you have that mindset. Well, then it's just not for you because Evil Dead Rise fucks. It shreds. It is the shit. It belongs in this series. I'm giving it four and a half out of five. I will say the reason that it's holding it back from really a perfect score and no complaints for me, I wasn't huge on the opening, believe it or not. I, there were moments about it I liked, but I was just okay with the opening. I literally remember sitting in the theater when the title card came up, which is an epic title card. And I was like, that was fine. You know, I, I wasn't like, oh my God, but I wasn't underwhelmed. So it was fine. And it takes a little bit to get going after that, but it is necessary to the movie because they have to build these relationships with these characters. And I give Lee Cronin a ton of credit because he did that. He said, no, these are new characters, new situation. We have to know them a little bit. We have to care about them. He's absolutely right. It was just the gore hound and Evil Dead fan and me going, give me the book and give me people ripping each other's faces off. But we get there and it is glorious. So guys... This is a front row. This is four and a half out of five stars. Go buy your fucking ticket. What are you waiting for? I do not want to have to see any of you tell me you did not go see this movie this weekend. You're ridiculous. And I will not stand for it. Unless you have a good reason. But still, not good enough. Go see Evil Dead Rise immediately. Let me know down below in the comments what you thought of the movie. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you think it was fine? Anything and everything down below. Leave a like on this video right here. Helps me in the algorithm. Check me out on social media and check me out on Patreon.com where we now have bonus episodes of the You Need a Horror Podcast. It's awesome. It's great. So much is going on. I'm fucking jacked, bro. This is Nick at the Lost River Drive and I'm pulling out. Skirt.